This is kissing range. Oh my god. Oh my god. Forgive me. Madam, for taking up so much of your time. Oh. Oh, the chemistry between them in that moment, even despite their words, their their eyes said something. Dude, that gave me chills. Hey guys, and welcome back to another reaction video. I'm Tavari, and today we're going to be watching Pride and Prejudice 2005. This is another one of your May I Request videos, and uh, the swarmers are coming. So if I don't have these lights off before the swarmers go off outside, they are going to try and find a way into my home, and that will be a recording disaster. For YouTube, of course, I'm gonna cut this down into highlights. If you want to see the full length reactions, my Patreon will be listed in the description. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Pride and Prejudice 2005. Maybe it's just gonna be a really nice, beautiful movie. I really don't know <laughs> what this is gonna be. I hope it's not sad. They've been my constant companions these 20 years. Papa! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> this is giving me uh, ever after feels. So will he come to the ball tomorrow, Papa? I believe so. <laughs> They're uh, very joyful about this, and I have no clue who this person is. I don't think it'd be too far of a shot to say maybe a prince. <laughs> Someone like me at one of these would absolutely stand out as tall as I am. All these people like level with each other. Me, I'd be standing above everyone looking down. <laughs> is this the dude? Is this what we've been waiting for? Poor, he most sadly is not. Tell me. 10,000 a year and he earns half of Derbyshire. 10,000 a year, that doesn't seem like a lot, but then again, I don't know what the 10,000's referencing or what year this is. Well, that was a ridiculous amount of entry. He didn't have to do all that, make everybody stand still for him to walk in. Just walk in. Like, you stopped the whole party. It is a pleasure. I have two others, but they're already dancing. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, God, it's... It's Theon. <laughs> Looks so different, or either I'm just mistaking him for someone. No, it's Theon. No, I don't. Yeah, it's Theon. Sometimes I'm a little off. I don't know. Maybe it is or isn't. I mean, I can read, of course. And, and I'm not suggesting you can't read out of doors, of course. Um. It's him. He's just... He just looks different, right? I am so sorry if it's not him, but I'm just used to seeing him with scars and, and a more beaten down look. And without a penis. We are a long way from Grosvenor Square, are we not, Mr. Darcy? Mr. Darcy, you don't look like you like the ball at all. How could you be at an event like this? Everybody laughing, smiling, having fun. And you just got this look of boredom or hate on your face. I don't know which one it is he's given. Admit that she's plain? <laughs> of course, it's my Jane who is considered the beauty of no, the no, county. No, 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 Why'd she put her down? Does she not? Is there some favoritism in this family? I thought the poetry was the food of love. Of a fine stout love, it may. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Uh, come on, crack a smile, Jesus. He's so close. I thought we were gonna get one. It's okay, we have a whole movie to go. This is from Caroline Bingley. She has invited me to dine with her. Her brother will be dining out. Dining out? Can I take the carriage? Where? Let me see that. Mom seems to be distracted and she has her own kind of agenda going on here. By the way that she was pivoting the conversation earlier at the ball or whatever dance you want to call it. Good Lord, Miss Elizabeth, did you walk here? I did. Someone say something. <laughs> she looked positively medieval. She is in far better comfort here than she would have been at home. It's a pleasure. Oh, I mean, it's, sorry, not a pleasure that she's ill, of course not. It's a pleasure that she's here, being ill. No, you know, the more I look at him, maybe it's not. It's not Theon. It just, 
at first looked like him to me. Yeah, they have a job to do. I don't think they're going to stop for your uh, downed napkin or handkerchief <laughs> or whatever. I cannot boast of knowing more than half a dozen women in all my acquaintance that are truly accomplished. You must comprehend a great deal in the idea. I do. Oh, yeah, these two definitely co they connect on an intellectual level. Secret affairs to discuss, or you are conscious that your figures appear to the greatest advantage by walking. If the first... I should get in your way. For the second, I can admire you much better from here. Shocking. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way they're going with this. Walking around the room like that is just, it's odd. I find it hard to forgive the follies and vices of others or their offenses against me. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. Oh dear, I cannot tease you about that. In most of the shots that she's in, they really highlight every feature that they can to make her even appear more bright and innocent. Mr. Bingley, is it true that you have promised to hold a ball here at Netherfield? A ball? Um... It would be an excellent way to meet new friends. You could invite the militia. What's up with the contrast between the daughters? The one on the far right, she's in, like, all black. It would be better if conversation, instead of dancing, were the order of the day. Mr. Bingley, I don't know how to thank you. You're welcome any time you feel the least bit poorly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to change my opinion again. That is the odd, and that is my final guess at it. I have reason to expect an addition to our family party. His name is Mr. Collins. He's the dreaded what? cousin. Who is to inherit, indeed, everything, apparently. I'm honoured to have as my patroness Lady Catherine de Bourgh. You've heard of her, I presume. I'm confused. How's he going to inherit this place? Isn't it the older guy's Mr. Bennett's house? So they're waiting for him to pass before he inherits it, or does it belong to someone else? How happy for you, Mr. Collins, to possess the talent for flattering with such delicacy. These pleasing attentions proceed from the impulse of the moment, or are they the result of previous study? Though I do sometimes amuse myself with arranging such little elegant compliments, I always wish to give them as unstudied an air as possible. The way they speak, I understand what they're saying, but they speak in like the most cryptic manner. <laughs> Sermons which speak very eloquently on all matters moral. Seems that every question and every answer posed is not direct. It is very much like something that needs to be unfolded and it's all encrypted. <laughs> so just, just give it to me straight. The eldest Miss Bennet has captured my special attention. Oh, Mr. Collins. Uh, um, the eldest Miss Bennet since we're not going to address Mrs. Bennett, the eldest Miss Bennett is his cousin, if I'm correct. Huh? <laughs> what? We just happen to be looking for some ribbon. Wait, for the ball. Shall we all look for some ribbon together? <gasps> it's almost like an Orlando Bloomish face, but it's. N I'm through trying to recognize people's faces at this point. <laughs> we grew up together, Darcy and I. His father bequeathed me the rectory in his estate. But Darcy ignored his wishes and gave the living to another man. But why? Oh. Jealousy. Uh, I don't know. We're only getting one side of this. So now I'm a poor foot soldier. Too lowly even to be noticed. From what I gather of Darcy to this point, I would gather that he would make decisions based on more merit than just jealousy. So I'm thinking that maybe... There's something more to this feud between the two of them. I still think there must have been a misunderstanding. Oh, Jane, do you never think ill of anybody? Well, how could Mr. Darcy do such a thing? Okay, she's, she's on board with me. It doesn't feel Mr. Darcy-like. If it is not true, let Mr. Darcy contradict it himself. <sighs> He's kind of a mystery right now, but I feel like he would want to make intelligent decisions. So I'm very interested to see if it's actually that he just disliked the dude because his dad liked him more, or if it is he found something better suited for the estate. Miss Bingley? Charming. That was louder than I expected it to be. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not at all. I, I was just admiring the general splendor. Yeah, right. We know you're looking for Darcy. I've never met a more pleasant gentleman in all my years. Did you see how we don't? Dear Jane, always doing what's best for her family. 
Ah, uh, look at him sneaking up like that. Why don't you just go say hi? You will do me the honor, Miss Elizabeth. Several people, with her ladyship included, have complimented me on my lightness of foot. Sir, get out. <laughs> There's definitely more to your request than you're letting on, and I don't, I don't, mm -mm. <laughs> Look how she, she's not, <laughs> she's not even looking at him. To be sure, dancing is a little consequence to me, but it does for me. But it does for me, she knows you to lavish. <laughs> You'd be less inclined to be engaged were it not for the... <sighs> Maybe this isn't the place for the conversation. If I may be so bold to remain close to you throughout the evening. <laughs> May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? What? Didn't you say you, if it can be avoided, you'll never do it? Wow. The charm of the two, they're so different and so alike in the same step. It's weird. I talked about the dance. Now you ought to remark on the size of the room or the number of couples. I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Please advise me of what you would like most to hear. You talk as a rule while dancing? No. I don't know how either of you, how anyone here can manage that. You barely spend any time together, then you have to separate over and over. Mr. Wickham is blessed with such happy manners. He is sure of making friends. Whether he's capable of retaining them is less certain. Dill us the killing blow. Tell us why. Why do you ask such a question? To make out your character, Mr. Darcy. And what have you discovered? Very little. I hope to afford you more clarity in the future. Is that an invite to spend more time together? Wait, they're not in the same place anymore, are they? Wait, what? That was awesome. I like that. <laughs> that was nice. It's like they're on the same wavelength. They were in a whole different place together. Mr. Darcy. Oh, oh. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Mr. Darcy, turn around and look down a little. <laughs> what interesting um, relatives you have, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, I believe we have a mutual patience. Bennett, she has this air of innocence in her charm. Just this floaty innocence. And the other dude, Mr. Darcy, has this grounded foundation of charm. And they both collapse together on this intelligent wavelength. I'm really invested in seeing how they get, how they turn this all together and how they actually really connect. He does not know her character as we do. She should move fast and snap him up. There is plenty of time for us to get to know him after the match. Mm, I wouldn't do that. We don't want to move fast. For you end up in a commitment that you're stuck in. That was the one who was dressed in black. She's like the, she's the odd one out in the family. Pretty sure she was left out in the beginning part too when uh, the elder Mrs. Bennett was introducing all the daughters. Mary, please. No, what is that? What is she, what you doing with that? Don't drink that. I was hoping if it would not trouble you that I might solicit a private audience with Miss Elizabeth in the course of the morning. Certainly. Very happy indeed. Everyone out. What? Mama, what is, uh, what's going on here? Is she for this? Is she trying to secure the estate, their, their position in the estate to her daughter? Oh. This is, this is uncomfortable. Why is he doing it? Stop. If you're gonna bring someone a flower, at least bring a big ass rose or something. What is that? Of my affection. Mr. Collins. No. And that no reproach on the subject of fortune will cross my lips once we're married. You are too hasty, sir. You forget that I have given no answer. Not just that. You guys haven't even gotten to know each other. You could not make me happy, and I'm convinced I'm the last woman in the world who could make you happy. It's by no means certain that another offer of marriage may ever be made to you. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Stop. I don't want it. I don't want it. She doesn't want it. We don't want it. Please understand me. I cannot accept you. 
go. Be firm about it. Oh, Lord. Don't add to it, you guys. You guys are going to spark something in him. Look, she just wants to be noticed no matter what. That's still your cousin. You don't want that. But she vows she will not have him. And now the danger is Mr. Collins may not have Lizzie. What, what am I to do? Well, come and talk to her. Mr. Bennett seems reasonable. He's going to let her choose for herself. I don't... He's not down with the sickness. Uh, he's not down with all that. Who will maintain you when your father is dead? Your mother will never see you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And I will never see you again if you do. Hey, let's go. I mean, I get that her mom is worried about losing the estate, but you really want to set your daughter up like that? You want to dictate her life just so that you can live a little bit more comfortably? Come on now. What's the matter? Jane? He's kicking them out? What? What? What did she do? What? Did, what? What's going on? I couldn't read that note. It was too fancily scribbled and I couldn't see it. Fancily? Is that even a word? <laughs> the scribblings were fancy. The cursive was great. They're leaving. He couldn't find anyone suitable? But I know her to be incapable of willfully deceiving anyone. He loves you, Jane. Do not give up. Let it be known you are there, and I am sure he will come to you. Okay. Maybe it wasn't due to the other house. Like, did that little slimy man decide to get rid of the competition? But it looks like uh, the guy that she was interested in just wasn't certain that she was interested in him. You're free to go off and be sheltered yourself. What about Mr. Wickham? Well, he's a pleasant fellow, and he'd do the job credibly. Father? He seems to be in a respectable position, being a part of the guard, but at the same time, we still don't know enough. That's not a qualifier. I've come here to tell you the news. Mr. Collins and I are engaged. Engaged? He moves quick. Not all of us can afford to be romantic. I've been offered a comfortable home and protection. But will you be happy? I'm already a burden to my parents. So don't judge me, Lizzie. Don't you dare judge me. I, I don't want to judge you, but that's submission. You Even if you compile all the things that she has, okay, you want comfort. That is that is a temporary comfort. You're getting that and setting yourself up for a life of permanent... I, I don't know what to expect of Mr. Collins, but he's rushing these decisions and it just doesn't seem like it's going to be anything romantic. <sighs> She's allowed to make her own decisions. That's a full-grown woman. As for the favor you ask, it is no favor at all. I would be happy to visit you at your earliest convenience. Oh. Well, we're about. <sighs> Did I misunderstand earlier? I thought he was going to inherit Mr. Bennett's estate. Okay, it's, it's not Mr. Bennett. Good. Her family's not getting kicked out. That makes me feel better. We've received an invitation to visit Rosings this evening from Lady Catherine de Bourgh. How wonderful. One of the most extraordinary sights in all of Europe, is it not? Okay, so he's hasty, but it's not like he's... Looks like he's gonna treat her right. It's just like if she was one of my friends, I, I wouldn't... That, that decision, it's just too... Everything happened too fast. Girl, I thought you were dead the way you were staring. I was, I just, she was looking off like she had passed away. This is my daughter. It's like, like the female Harry Potter. Did anybody else catch that? Miss Elizabeth, I'm a guest here. You know my nephew. Jesus, there's so many nephews, uncles, aunts, and cousins, and everything going around here. Is everybody related to everyone? Because this web of families is, is getting complicated. I haven't been fortunate enough. You no. play the piano forte, Miss Bennett. A little mom and very poorly. You draw? No, not at all. Your sisters, do they draw? She is running out all the... the <laughs> she's, she's like questioning, questioning, questioning. Lady Catherine, I'm not afflicted with false modesty. When I say I play poorly... Come, I... come, Lizzie. Her ladyship demands it. In the beginning, it was her sister who was playing, right? I don't think we saw her play anything on the piano. She's gonna do it. How does Georgiana get along, Darcy? She plays very well. She's actually doing it.
Oh, oh, now she's messing up. It's not a very chord heavy melody that she's playing, but I mean, she's playing it smooth until he showed up. The first time I saw him at the assembly, he danced with nobody at all. I knew nobody beyond my own party. Oh, and nobody can be introduced in a ballroom. But William? I don't know, even when introduced into a situation where most people would find it easy to socialize no matter the standing, if you're kind of introverted or to yourself, it's still difficult. We got some camera action there. What? Everything okay? Please do be seated. I'm afraid Mr. and Mrs. Collins have gone on business to the village. Spit it out, what are you? <laughs> She's making him so nervous. Shall I call for some tea? No, thank you. Good day, Miss Elizabeth. It's been a pleasure. That was very anticlimactic for the way that you busted in here with the camera movements and everything. What? He recently came to the rescue of one of his friends just in time. What happened? Uh, he saved the man from an imprudent marriage. Who was the man? <coughs> oh. His closest friend, Charles Bingley. There were apparently strong objections to the lady. Her lack of fortune. I think it was a family that was considered unsuitable. Careful, this is all just hearsay right now. Is it true? So we were thinking it could have, I was thinking it could have been the lady who had turned things around. I came to Rosings with the single object of seeing you. I had to see you. the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Uh, you're a moving fast suit. Does everyone in this time just move very quickly or what? Please do me the honor of accepting my hand. Girl, that's two marriage proposals in, in days. Do you think that anything might tempt me to accept? The man who has ruined, perhaps forever, the happiness of a most beloved sister. Separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the centre of the world for caprice, and my sister to its derision for disappointed hopes. I do not deny it. Oh. I did it for his own good. Uh, that was not for you to decide. Should have let them do their own thing naturally and see where it went. My God. Everyone is just moving at the speed of a bullet around here. The matter of your family. Our want of connection. The mother. Mr. The Bingley mother. Didn't seem to no, it was more than that. that. How, sir? It was the lack of propriety shown by your mother, your three younger sisters, even on occasion your father. You and your sister, I must exclude. He has a point on the mom there, and we could all see that. I'm sure. I didn't observe his her sisters doing anything to give that kind of idea, but. The mother, yes. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? And those are the words of a gentleman. Your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. That's getting spicy in this rain. It is getting heated up. This is kissing range. Oh my God. Oh my God. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. Oh. Oh, the chemistry between them in that moment, even despite their words, their their eyes said something. Dude, that gave me chills. That was the looks were intense. They got this somber rain going. They got all of this heated conversation. They've got the words that contradict what the bodies and the eyes are seeing. It just wow. Okay, that was good. These two are just... I, I can't even explain it. And because they're both so smart, no, because they're both so understanding, when they speak to each other, they really are listening and they're really taking in what the other is thinking. And that's what just makes it so much better. It's not like they just disregard whatever the other person's saying to still stay heated in the moment. Upon my father's death, Mr. Wickham announced he had no intention of taking orders. He demanded the value of the living which he was given. He then wrote demanding more money, which I refused. When it was made clear he would never receive a penny of that inheritance, he disappeared. I knew it. Girl, you better get on a horse and chase that one. <laughs> Is he? Are you all right? I hardly know. The marriage proposal was a little upfront and way too quick, but they need to talk to each other some more. Look at 
Little Lydia has been invited to go to Brighton with the force. If you, dear father, do not take the trouble to check her, she will be fixed forever as the silliest and most determined flirt who ever made her family ridiculous. Lizzie, we shall have no peace until she goes. Which sister is that? Is that the is that the odd one out? Nah, she's not usually that bubbly. Believe me, men are either eaten up with arrogance or stupidity. If they are amiable, they're so easily led, they have no minds of their own whatsoever. Oh, take care, my love. That savors strongly of bitterness. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. I think we're quite close to Pemberley. Mr. Darcy's home. Are the hankering to see it? Oh, no, let's not. Oh, my God. That is, um... That's quite the property. So his uh, his home is hooked up like this. It's so decadent and it's so spacious. That's a lot of space for just one person. A handsome face. Do you not think him a handsome man, miss? Yes. I did not expect her to answer it like that. Please let him be at home. Please let him be at home. Although you got a, a lot of mileage to search around. She's gonna spend half the day looking around this house trying to find him. What you waiting for? I'd be too excited. Go take a peek. <laughs> it's just, just a little peek won't hurt. Um, well, I, I'm disappointed, but you know, good for you. You know how to play. Oh, oh he is home. Okay. Oh. She repaid him with the zoom camera moment. Now they're both equal. Tomorrow we go to Matlock. Tomorrow. Are you staying at Lambton? Yes, at the Rose and Crown. Yes, sir. Oh, there's so much they want to say. Just say something. May I see you back to the village? No. I'm very fond of walking. Yes. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah, he'll definitely be a part of tonight's events, knowing that she's here. He particularly wants you to meet his sister. My sister, Miss Georgiana. My brother has told me so much about you. Your unfortunate brother once had to put up with my playing for a whole evening. But he says you play so well. Then he has perjured himself most profoundly. <laughs> no, I said played quite well. Oh, quite well is not very well. I'm satisfied. That was a smile. I don't think we've really seen him smile to this point. The letter for you, madam. But from Jane. I thought it was bad news. Oh, God. Lydia has run away with Mr. Wickham. Oh, is that the, the super excited sister who was going to try and go off on her own? But she doesn't have anything that Wickham would... Oh, oh. I'm afraid we must go at once. I will join Mr. Bennett and find Lydia before she ruins the family forever. Either way, they don't have anything that Wickham could, you know... Benefit from, benefit from. If he's chasing one of them, he's after something else. Poor oh, Mr. Bennett will now have to fight the perfidious Wickham and then be killed. Oh. He hasn't found him yet, ma'am. And then Mr. Collins will turn us out before he's cold in his grave. Lydia must know what this must be doing to my nurse. Oh, she is turning the whole situation on herself. No man in his senses would marry Lydia under so slight a temptation as a hundred a year. Your uncle must have been very generous. Married. And at 15, too. Ring the bell, Kitty. <laughs> this movie is throwing some stuff with this mother alone. Look, she just cheered right on up. When you have five daughters, Lizzie, tell me what else will occupy your thoughts, and then perhaps you will understand. But you still got a life of your own. You're supposed to help your daughters. Make a life for themselves, but not by throwing them at any man that comes along. Jesus Christ! Well, Monday morning came, and I was in such a fuss. I don't want to hear. But I didn't hear a word, because I was thinking of my dear Wicker. 
Oh, she just is just floating on cloud nine, isn't she? She needs to come back down. Level yourself, girl. Mr. Darcy was at your wedding. He was the one that discovered us. He paid for the wedding. Wickham's commission. Everything. He must have done it thinking... No, I think he's smarter than that. I was going to say he must have done it thinking that it's something that Elizabeth, Elizabeth would have wanted, but we need to seek justification for a yet another cause. Um, excuse the hell out of me. Did you see how she, he just manhandled her? Oh, oh, any dad watching that would have definitely objected. Not that I care about it. Mr. Bingley's nothing to us. Is it um, quite certain he's coming? Yes, madam. It's all right, Lizzie. I'm just glad he comes alone because then we shall see less of him. I'm sure they'll reconnect and talk. Though, admittedly, I'm more interested in finding out what this whole thing is between Darcy and... Elizabeth. Mr. Bingley! Mr. Bingley? Mama, Mr. What's his name? The pompous one from before. Mr. Dar Mr. Darcy? <laughs> How very glad we are to see you, Mr. Bingley. There have been a great many changes since you went away. Miss Luca. Mama, can you stop interfering? You are just all up in his face. Let him interact with the one he came to interact with. Jesus. Do you hope to stay long in the country, Mr. Bingley? Just a few weeks. For the shooting. Oh, when you have killed all your own birds, Mr. Bingley, I beg you- Somebody take her out of the room. Mr. Bennett will be vastly happy to oblige you. Shh! Get out! It's been very pleasant to see you all again. Miss Elizabeth? For when you were in town last winter, you promised to have a family dinner with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do like that part. <laughs> I would like that she would- Invite him to dinner, give him the chance to talk. But Jesus, she just, she bombarded him the moment he walked in the room. And homegirl didn't say anything. Ugh, everybody is tiptoeing on eggshells around here. Can somebody just make the move to talk? Besides mom. <laughs> I know this is all very untoward, but I would like to request the privilege of speaking to Miss Bennett. Oh, Mr. Bingley, it is so good to see you again so soon. You're overselling it, Mom. You are overselling it. He's already here for her. Just let it, let it happen. I must tell you, I've been the most unmitigated and comprehensive ass. Quiet. <laughs> A thousand times, yes. Hey, if this is their custom, I'm just going to respect it, because... She is happy. She is happy, happy. And, you know, in my book, it'd be fast. But for them, this has been enough time of this cat and mouse game. They've been playing with each other. Yeah. Lady Catherine. What is she doing here? This seems very unlikely of her. I need to speak to Miss Elizabeth Bennet alone. Miss Bennet, I warn you. I am not to be trifled. Damn. A report of a most alarming nature has reached me that you intend to be united with my nephew. Whoa. Wait, they haven't even talked about this yet. Do you then pretend to be ignorant of it? Has it not been industriously circulated by yourself? I have never heard Whoa. of it. She just came in here with all this fire and accusation. Has my nephew made you an offer of marriage? Your ladyship has declared it to be impossible. <laughs> yes. Now tell me once and for all, are you engaged to him? I am not. Will you promise never to enter into such an engagement? I will not. Oh, did you see what they did with the camera work there? Her face, the older lady, she took up the entire screen there. They were showing the opposite shot for Elizabeth, where she was smaller, making her seem more inferior. But the moment that she let down, they both became small again. I have never been thus treated in my entire life. That was a bit heated. I was hoping that she was going to take the larger frame there at the end, but they didn't. This isn't some kind of, this is a real thing, right? It's taking a page out of her book and going for a walk to her. We've discovered and explored everybody else's stories and their relationships and how that's all growing, but we have barely had enough interaction between these two. <sighs> I wanted more. <laughs> I would have to tell you. 
You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, and love, and love you. I feel it for him, but I wish we could have explored it more, because this feels like this is wrapping up to the end. I think the only reason I feel like this is because marriage is such a finality. I'm accustomed to seeing the relationship grow long before the proposal is made, so I feel like I've missed out on something. I was wrong. I was entirely wrong about him. He and I are so similar. <laughs> We've been so stubborn. <laughs> Actual tears of happiness because someone in his family is actually getting what they actually want. Actually, you know, the other daughter got what she wanted too, Jane. I heartily give my consent. I could not have parted with you, my Lizzie, to anyone less worthy. And this will make both parts of the family happy. Sure, her mom's gonna like it too, but for different reasons. Her dad is genuinely interested in his daughter's happiness. You may only call me Mrs. Darcy when you are completely and perfectly and incandescently happy. And how are you this evening? Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy's probably gonna have some problems with your auntie. She's not going to fly back around the corner on her witch's broom and threaten her or something. Jane and Elizabeth pretty much got the forefront of it all, but there was a lot of extra stuff that was mixed in there. I wanted to see more of Jane and Darcy interact, and it's probably because it's probably because I enjoyed their interaction so much that I didn't realize how much time they were actually on screen together. You know, when you're enjoying something, it just goes by so quickly. Amazing to see their change from the very beginning to the end. And there's still so much mystery behind them. I tried to understand the mom a little bit more, but I, I just couldn't connect. I could not. Anyhow, thank you so much for this recommendation. I really did enjoy this movie. It's it's not often. I really watch a lot of romance movies here on the channel, so that was nice, that was refreshing, and very much did not overstay its welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here today as well. I will be back with another reaction video soon, and if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a rating. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, give someone a reason to smile. Bye for now.